because I got asked this a bunch of times, here's a quick start tutorial for 3D NFTs, the easy way. First, create a 3D model, which I'm not gonna explain in this tutorial. This is a little creature from a Jeroen Bos painting made in actually Gravity Sketch and then imported in 3ds Max for some post-processing. Then export, I exported this as FBX, but you could also do OBJ. Then Substance Painter, you go to File, New. You select that file, you just export it. And then here, you check Auto Unwrap. This way, Substance Painter will create the UVs for you, which you need to paint on the 3D object. Um, they have an algorithm which is pretty good at um, organic shapes, but less suited for things like buildings. Uh, this is good to know. For that, you will have to do it manually. So now you have your 3D model in uh, Substance Painter. Um, I always then do bake mesh maps. You can also use this for uh, more high detail models that you bake into more low poly models, but that's um, a little bit more advanced. When we do this, basically we're letting Substance Painter calculate what's up, what's down, how far thi are things from each other. Uh, it needs this 3D information to apply the materials in Substance Painter correctly. Once you've done this, now you're ready to paint on your 3D model. Also not going to cover that in this tutorial. Uh, this is just about quickly getting started. So here, you're done painting the texture. Um, now all you do is export textures under the output templates. You select the GLTF PBR metal rough. And this will also uh, give you, it will export the textures, but it will also give you a GLTF and a GLB file and the GLB file you can upload directly on, for example, SuperRare. And I think sites like Known Origin also take GLB files. You just export, um, then you upload that to SuperRare, and you might want to go back and forth a little bit because the viewer in SuperRare uh, might make it look a little different in terms of glossiness or, or reflection or how the, the bump ma maps come across. Um, but this is basically how you create a 3D NFT. Super easy, direct from Substance. Now, if you want to add animation to your 3D models, you can't use this uh, pipeline. Then you will have to export uh, as a GLB file from your 3D software. Um, and I might cover that in a different tutorial. But this is the uh, Substance Painter to GLB workflow that I've been using quite a lot lately. Hope it helps.